Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. I'm here in uh, Durban, South Africa, just along the beach. Uh, I'm going to put my sunglasses on because it's pretty sunny. Um, just wanted to send out a reminder. You know, subhanAllah, the world is amazing. Everywhere we go, we travel to different places. Uh, but there's a lot of things that we can learn from. Now, here in South Africa, in particular on this beach in Durban, there, during the apartheid, there used to be a time where the blacks, the whites, and the colored were completely separated. And right here along this beach, um, now, alhamdulillah, you can go anywhere along the beach, all the way down, which, you know, goes across the coast of South Africa. There was a time where only blacks could go to certain areas, whites would go to other areas, and colored to others. And what was really interesting is that the black areas, if you look at the pictures of it, was completely you know, flooded with people. There were so many people, I don't even know how they would swim. It was just a matter of standing in the water. It was so packed, kind of like doing Hajj, right? And you're doing Tawaf around the camera. There's so many people. And if you look at the areas where the whites were, um, and they were mainly, you know, Dutch, German, etc. Those beaches were, you know, really beautiful, nice and clean, less people, uh, and signs saying that, you know, blacks are colored and not allowed here. There's actually some signs that are still up, you know, preserved um, in some of the restaurants, etc., just to show uh, a piece of the history. Um, and so, subhanAllah, you know, Islam doesn't allow that. Islam doesn't allow us to differentiate between black, white, colored, etc. We're all the same, and we know that Bilal ibn Rabah was the Mu'addin of the Prophet Wasallam, And he was a Muslim, but he was also black. But we never say, oh, you know, this person was black, this person was white, this person was brown, etc. We all consider each other to be brothers and sisters of one another. What's interesting now here in South Africa is how people refer to each other as my brother, whether they're Muslim or not. And that's really cool. You know, in Islam we say, my dear respected brothers and sisters to each other. But here, whether you're brothers or sisters, Muslim, non-Muslim, you meet someone, you say, how are you, my brother? How are you, my brother? So everyone is a brother to each other uh, or a sister to each other. And subhanAllah, it's, it's nice to see that that progress has been made. There's still a lot of changes that, that need to, oh, I'm gonna stand up. Tide is coming in. Um, so the waves are coming in. Uh, there's a lot of changes that still need to take place. But there's progress, alhamdulillah. So my reminder to each and every one of us is don't differentiate between colors, race, culture, etc. Um, especially when it comes to the youth that are out there. A lot of youth want to marry people, but the parents say, no, you need to be from a certain tribe or a certain caste. Um, that's something that Islam doesn't allow. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as well as the Prophet wasallam, encourage us to marry into different tribes or different races, different cultures so that we get to know one another. And so let's break down those barriers inshallah ta'ala if they still exist amongst us. And I'm going to sign out now from South Africa where I'll be heading uh, to Cape Town in a few days inshallah. I'll speak to you soon. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.